Hi guys, welcome to Break 70. I'm here at the beautiful Son Anthem Golf in Mallorca, and we're going to be playing 18 holes on the East Course and Break 70, basically. So enjoy the video. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the future ones. This is the first of a new series. So Breaking 70 is going to be tough, but we're going to go and do it. We're going to go and do it all over the world. And enjoy. Okay, so the first hole here is a beautiful dog leg right, par five. Looks quite tight up there. Um, we're looking at 472 meters, which is, I'm going to say, about 550 yards. So, yeah, I mean, we're just going to go into this break 70 and have a great day in the sunshine and enjoy it. So as well, I'm going to be talking through not just, just the golf. I'm going to talk through, you know, my processes and the things that I do when I approach different types of shots. So you'll learn from that as well. And, yeah, enjoy. All right, first, where's the wind? Down off the right. So I'm just gonna cozy a nice driver here. Gonna aim just inside that tree there on the right-hand side and let it drift back with a wee draw. Okay, fading a touch. Well, the wind's holding it up, it's all right. It's down the right-hand side, look at it bounce. All right, so a good, good drive off the first. I've got 160 meters to the front. Which, if I do the math correctly, is 176 yards to the front. So I don't have my rangefinder because I lost it. And if you know me, you know I lose things. So I'm gonna have to play this by feel. So 176 to the front, and we've got a bunker at the front. And yeah, we're just gonna try it. I'm gonna go for a 160 shot. If I find that bunker, I'm not too annoyed. Um, again, I'm not actually 100% sure how far the ball is gonna go compared to back home, but. We'll give it a go. The pin is just through, just through that little gap in the trees. I don't know if you can see it. Now, unfortunately, there'll be no zooming in for shots on this as I'm on my own. So, yeah, let's give it a go. Now straight into the routine. My feels. Zone in on the target. And give it a go. That's right at it. Is it enough? Oh, we're dancing. We're dancing. Okay, guys, not a bad shot to begin with. It's an eagle chance. Putting into the wind, back up to the hole. So let's see what I can do. All right, so a top tip is to make sure that you clean that golf ball before every putt. It needs to be spotless because any kind of dirt on that ball is going to affect how it rolls. There's a couple of videos online of like slight grass stains completely affecting the golf ball. So make sure it's completely clean and the great thing is the TS Golf have sent me these tiles that you can clip on and off on your bag so I can bring this up onto the green with me and not have to worry about untangling it or anything. All right, so let's get into the read. So I like to read from the lowest side. So that's where we're about here. It seems pretty flat. So, and to be honest, I don't see an awful lot of break. Maybe at the start coming a little bit to the right, but very much straight one and the wind's coming off the right. So I'm just gonna go straight at it for this first attempt try to bag the eagle. So routine, look at the target, feel the distance, a couple of swings, and then step in and don't take too much time and go. Keep going. Just didn't hit it hard enough into the wind, but should be a nice top end birdie. All right, let's get this cleaned up for birdie on the first. As well, on our way to break 70. That'll be this. Let's go to the second. Okay, beautiful par three here for the second. A little bit of water there on the left. But not much danger apart from that. Pins up at the back, so I don't need to worry about that water. It's 159 meters, so let's see how we get on. I mean, when it comes to like choosing my target, obviously we got the water on the left and a bunker on the right. So I'm just going to not aim at the flag because it's going to flirt with that bunker a little bit. I'm just going to pick a spot right in the middle of the green. And what I do is I pick a a tree way out in the distance. So it keeps me from looking at any of the danger. I look at a tree way up in the distance and just focus on starting my ball on that line. So into the routine, feel, zone in on the target and fire. Touch heavy, that ball's staying in the air forever. 
Yeah, I'm at the front. Got a touch heavy. It's quite. All right, so I'm an absolute country mile away from the hole, so I'm just going to try and get a good putt, roll it up there. Don't really want to be chipping downwind, but yeah, just fire it up there and see how we get on. Again, we're going to fly straight up it and then at the hole. We're kind of drifting off to the right, so I'm going to aim a little bit left and see how we get on. So it's all about feeding the pace with this one. Got my start line. Feel that pace, hard I'm going to hit it. And just give it a go. Bit of air time there, needs to go. Keep going, keep going. There it is, drifting off the right. Nearly got there too. I'm alright with that, we can roll that in for par. Alright, so certainly a bit of a tester here. Um, up at the hole, it's kind of slanting to the left and early on, not much movement, so I'm just going to aim on that right edge and see if I can get the pace right and roll it in. Had it if he'd have hit it. Come on, man. All right, bogey, back to level. Some work to do. Two holes in, though, so we got plenty of time. All right, third hole is par four, about 339 yards or so, if the math is correct. I'm just going to hit the big stick, try and get as close to it as possible. And I'm just going to aim at the flag as well. There is wind off the left, but I don't know how much the wind here. It's certainly not going to affect it like it does at home. Got a bit of a draw going as well, so it might counteract and go straight. Slightly down the right. Not sure of the distance. Again, the range finder, the 100 yards is back there, about 20, 20 yards or so. So I'm just going to go and assume this is about 75 to 80 yards into the wind. Just a nice three-quarter, 54, try and flight it up there. Let's see what this ground is like. Very firm. This is very much going to be picked off the surface, which I like, so it'll help me get that that height on it pretty quickly. Aim a little bit left, just the left edge of that bunker, and hopefully we get over it. Has it got the legs? Nope, way short. All right. Up and down incoming. I'm going to have to get my act together here pretty soon because I'm a little under pressure with not having the yardage, the yardages, so I just got to start to think a little more and try and keep the ball online and not be way off. Okay, tricky enough little up and down here. The advantage is that the wind's pushing against, so I think I can stop this pretty quick. I'm just going to land it halfway between the flag and where the fringe ends. Get a feel for the lie. Keep in routine. Get a feel for the lie, a couple of practice swings, really see the shot. So every time I swing through, I'm kind of seeing the flight, I'm feeling this in my hands. And I've just got to be positive through this because this grass is not very tight. I think it could grab my club pretty easily. Put a bit of loft on it. Spin! That's all right. Four footer. Try and clean up. Alrighty, let's clean this up. It's gonna be downwind a little bit. Just gonna read it from the low side. See what we're working with here. I can't see anything in that at all whatsoever. So, nothing. Straight as. I haven't seen something like that in a long time. Take it, so I'm just gonna give him a touch left and let it roll down there. Nice, nice up and down, gets the confidence going and a nice par. So level par after three, it's not a bad start. All right, fourth holes, par four, 330 meters, sorry, 320 meters. So again, 350 odd. Uh, looks like there's some junk up there with water and then trees down the right. So I'm just gonna hit a four and get it in play. Drawing a touch, but completely fine. Bouncing on the fairway there. So, 110 yards to the front of that green, downwind. I think I can fly this 58 there, the pins at the front, so we're just going to fly 58 up into the air and see if we can get close. Hopefully get another birdie. Pushed it. Damn. 
I'm just trying to hit that too hard, you know. So, wind's off the left, so I'm going to bounce, I'm just going to aim a little bit left of the, the hole. Bounce it just on that green there. And let it run on down to the hole. Sitting okay. And get right into the back of this. Again, nice and soft hands. Just let it drop on there. Give myself a chance for par. Oh, too far. Okay, well, again, being able to see the line because I've gone past probably like a six footer, maybe seven. Okay, it's gonna be tough. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's roll this in. Confident now. This looks good. Feeling good about this one. Oh, bugger. Oh, dear. One over. I'm gonna make this first. If I move a wee bit to my right, so ah, let's keep going. Not to dwell on it too much, there's loads more opportunities for birdies. Okay, beautiful par three here. It's gonna be playing about 200 yards into the wind. The flag's fairly central, so that's gonna be our number into the window. So we're gonna probably go with a punchy. No, that was a strong wind. I'm hitting a three iron. That's a strong wind. Let's give it a go. Curving off a little bit. It's gonna make it. Yeah, just on. Certainly coming back right to left at the end. Fairly flat, maybe downhill a little bit. It's like a wee bowl there that I'm gonna I'm gonna use to bring it back to the flag. So I'm almost aiming as far as the flag's shadow where the flag is in the shadow. Oh, that's fast. Oh, that is fast. That is fast. Come on. Yes. All right. Still one over. Got to make some birdies. All right. So I am going to pump this driver just right at that palm tree and hopefully the wind drifts it around and my slight draw should help it. Let's rock and roll. All right. Really need to stop hitting this driver offline because it's really hard to gauge these distances with the hundreds over there, I'm assuming. 100 meters, so 110 yards. So I'm going to get myself, looks about 100 to my eyeballs. So again, we'll go with that 58. Just a nice smooth swing. I know it's enough club. Just get it over this tree in front. Try and let it drift down onto that flag. Right underneath it. Well, that just didn't feel good, but it's flying. And it's on. Okay, baby. Come on. Uphill, swerving from right to left. I'm not going to put a line on this one because it's going to be a much more about feel than it is anything else. So if I can get this birdie, then being level par after six isn't bad. We just got to pick up three three more birdies on the way and hopefully no more bogeys. Starting to get a feel for those greens a little bit. Up the hill. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ugh, nearly. Woo, that was close. All right, one over through six holes. I want to be averaging one under for every six holes, so I'm two off the pace at the minute. Looking to shoot 71 if this form continues. So we're just going to have to get a couple of birdies here before the back nine's over. And you know, if I can get the one under after nine, I'll be happy. And then I'd need a good back nine, but we'll see. We'll see. All right, par five, playing the hardest hole in the course, about 580 yards, so wind's off the right, driver over these trees on the right and let it drift back. I don't know if we'll get there in two, but we'll see how far this drive goes. Let's see if we can hit this online. Wind's in two as well. Fading a little. Wind's not moving it. Over those trees, I'm sure it's fine. All right. Looking at about like 275 to the green, I'm guessing. Wind's against, so I don't think I'm reaching. But we'll get as close as we can. It's a good shot. How close are we going to get? Looks pretty close. All right. Pretty chance. All right. Got close enough. 
probably 45, 50 yards max to that flag. Sitting really nicely. I think it's going to spin as well. So just feel the distance. Really firm ground. Go on. Stop. Okay. Okay, birdie opportunity here. There's a little sort of mark just in front of me. That's where I'm going to aim, just inside of it. Turning from left to right for me. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, there we go. Birdie time, back to level. We can get one more, maybe two, before the nine is over. Then we're well on track. Eight full here is a dog leg to the, to the right, sorry. Par four. Now I'm assuming I can go sort of down just left of that tree on the right hand side and let it drift back. Try and get this fade going. Oh, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Be on the fairway. Don't be too far. Oh, perfect. Okay, 95 yards to the middle of that green, so wind is yeah straight into maybe a little off the left i can fit it on the left hand side here so i'm gonna go for 54. oh he's pulled it he's pulled it off the slope felt that and yet i still hit right simple enough it should be soft really fluffy lie just got to make sure i commit to it get right through it i'm going to lead lead with the hands forward a little bit just so i don't grab the grass get it out Get it running. That's hard. That's way too hard. Oh, it's spun. Probably six, seven foot. Oh, well, it was confident shot anyway. Give me a chance. Got me right up there. Actually, she's grand. Four feet. Let's roll it in. So I'm going about a ball and a half outside the left. Confident pace. Roll it in. Let's go. Get in. Boom. Flip me. That was probably five foot past if I had missed. But it was confident. Let's go. Ninth hole now. Par four. Straight up. 400 yards roughly. Or maybe just under 400 yards. Aiming straight up there. Straight into the wind. Good confident drive. On the left. Cut a wee bit. Keep cutting. Okay. All right, so I'm glad I've missed this on the left because there's a whole load of nothing on the right. So 110 yards into the wind, 54 degree. Let's get this right on line and have a birdie putt. That is a flyer. Sit. Oh, that's more like what you guys have come here to see. Birdie opportunity after birdie opportunity let's get this going okay it's a good chance here to get under par i need this i really feel like i need this if i can go one under through nine i'm on track getting used to them now so i'm going to aim about two balls to the right and roll it in come on come on come on come on come on, come on. yes let's go one under through nine ladies and gentlemen absolutely incredible well not really but anyway Fix that pitch mark, landed it perfectly pin high, so that's getting the distances better now. This is on, this is on, let's go. 10 full, par 5, 490 meters. Let's have a 550. This one's more downwind, so it's going to be getting home in two as long as I'm in play. So again, really tight there, as you can see. I'm going to start it just down the right tree line and let it draw back. Oh, we love that. Straightest ball today. All right, by my calculations, it's about three, 375 yards off the tee, 175 yards left, so that's nuts. Anyway, probably around about 50. So yeah, 175, flag's fairly central. I'm feeling confident, swing's feeling good, so I can start to attack now. Uh, I'm gonna hit a nice, sort of comfortable eight iron. Hopefully it gets there. It's really warm now. So yeah, on the flag all day long. Draw on a bit. Ah, oh, way short. Okay, simple, simple, simple. Again, grass is fluffy. I don't think it's a use the bind shot, so I'm going to dig it a little bit. Get the hands ahead, strike it in there low enough so I can run it up, run it halfway up, and let it roll up.
up to the flag. Sit my, sit my. Not bad. Again, a little aggressive. Just not used to the bounce and the roll. Right. Let's get another birdie. Come on. Yes. We go. We're on track. Two under after 10. I only needed to be that after 12, so taking a bit of pressure off myself after that start. Oh, adios, amigo. Adios. Got back on there. Smash ourselves onto the next tee. Let's go. All right, par four, 373 meters, so well over 400 yards. Again, looks like it's going around to the right, so the wind is coming this way, so I'm going to aim down the right hand side and let it drift back. If it stays there, it'll be fine. The left of intended target and moving left, so needs to sit a little bit. I think there's loads of room. Oh, yeah, okay, about 130 yards. That wind is actually more into than I think. So, I'm gonna go on my pitching wedge, which is about 145, flight it down a bit into the wind. Pins tucked just over that bunker. Let's go, Let's see if we can get three in a row here. Come on, draw a bit, draw a bit. Be good. Oh, he's short. Plug or risky. That's oh, nasty. That's, no, this isn't going to be easy. So I just literally need to somehow get this out to there and let it run down. Taking a lot of sand with me on this one. Plug shot. I'm going to add a bit of loft and hit this hard. Really, really hard. Get steep. Just get it out. Let it run down there. It's going to have a lot of top spin. Okay, come on. Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. It's a putt anyway, let's go. There's not a whole lot in it. It's gonna be just outside the right edge with the correct pace. We're firm enough at it. So we can roll this in, make it far. Incredible up and down it would be. Stay in your line. Come in, come in, come in, come in. Yes. Oh, happy days. Happy days. Delighted with that. Still two under. Ahead of schedule. Come on. Let's go. All right. Shorter par four here, guys. 325 meters. So looks like there's a bit of trouble. There's a bunker there. Three's on the right. Looks tight enough. So I'm going to aim just right at that bunker with the four iron. Hit a bit of a stinger. And get it running down there. Yeah, slightly down to the right. Hopefully, I'm not locked out. No, I won't be. Bouncing away there. All right, so same distance as the approach on the last hole, and the wind is the same direction. So I'm just going to go one club extra. Um, well, that flag looks more middle. Oh, I'm happy enough with nine. I'm going to flight the nine in. 132 into the breeze. Can't feel it. Which is concerning me, but I'm just going to commit to it. I know it's there, right at the flag. There's the wind now. Caught it a little bit heavy, pulling it left a bit. Okay, this has got to be fairly simple. Up, up the green, just short. Got a nice little water feature in hole here at the back for you. A couple of ducks, ducking around. And yeah. Ah, this is simple. I'm just going to, again, hands forward, get the ball first. Try and roll it up there. Try and be a little less aggressive because my chip shots have been aggressive. Come on, don't do that. Just chipping into that slope. I just did not think about that. Thought about everything. That just grabbed on me because the ball was slightly above and on an upslope. Tricky up and down again. And I have right to left. Very much so up at the hole there at the end when it starts to die, so I might have to aim a little further right than what it seems at first. But up the hill, so I can certainly hit this and be confident with it. I'm going to aim again. I think it's two balls outside the right. Seems to be the number today. Two balls. It's a good pot. It's a good pot. It's a bogey. So bad, man. 
approach shots. All right, so one under after 12, one behind our projected or our desired score. So I'm gonna have to get a couple of birdies and try and save this. Gotta break 70 on the first attempt, just have to. Okay, pretty straightforward, par three here, 198 yards by my calculations. Wind off the left kind of helping, so I've got seven iron in hand, just based on that on the ball's going a bit further, so I think I'm a club shorter. Right, let's go. Oh, it didn't fade. Draw, drawing. Why are you drawing? Okay, fairly straightforward. Green's coming back against me, so I can stop this pretty quick. I'm gonna drop it halfway up that there's a tiny, tiny slope. Drop it halfway up there and hopefully it runs out. Looks like it's gonna be a left or right on this. Spin. Oh yes, come on, come on. It's still going. Stop. Two footer, three footer max. Whew, pressure's off. Right, straightforward. Let's just tap this in and move on. So par, still one under. Let's go. Need a couple more. All right, 14th. 10th hardest hole. About 440 yards and dog leg around to the right. So I'm just going to aim down the left hand side and hopefully let the wind drift it back for me. And the driver. Need a birdie real quick. Yep, nice little fade. Love that. Keep on going. A little off the bottom, but you know. Okay, 152 left. Pins just over this tree. You can probably see it through the gap there. Uh, I've got a nine iron, so I'm gonna get over that tree easily enough. And I'm just gonna hit it. Just a nice, just a nice nine iron. This one, please. Go on the green. I've had enough of chipping. Wind's a little off the left still, so I'm just going over the middle of this tree. Hopefully it comes back for me. Pushed it. And I think it's short again. Yeah, it is. Let me, Michael. Okay, not a difficult chip shot here. Again, that fluffy lie, so I'm gonna the hands forward again on this chip shot. And yeah, I mean, it's straightforward. It's all uphill. The wind's kind of helping because it's against a little bit. So we're gonna land this roughly five paces on and let it roll out. Oh, I left that short, man. <sighs> okay, need a putt. I think where I'm struggling with the irons is I'm trying to hit too many sort of sawn off shots, flighted shots, which just aren't doing anything for my kill in the distance. So I'm going to commit to hitting fuller iron shots and just really commit to the swing and try and get some better contact. So anyway, let's make this par. Tricky enough, we par putt. A little brown patch there just left of the hole. I'm gonna go outside it, hit it firm up the hill. Again, ball to ball and a half to two balls outside the left. That seems to be the number all day. Let's go. Confidence up that hill. Beautiful. Come on. Yeah. Actually just struck that really, really well. So okay. One over there. Yeah. One under. Four holes to go. Need two birdies. Can I do it? What do you think? Leave a comment right now. Let me know what you think. Can I do this? If I can get these irons going, I think I can, but that needs to happen right now. Okay, this one's 425. Straight down there, but there's a bit of water junk up there at about 300 yards. It looks like anyway. It might not be, but I'm going to play safe. Get two full iron shots here. Good four iron and then whatever it is, but it's going to be committed. So let's do it. Down the right with a bit of a draw. Come on. Okay, so we're looking at about 170 yards to that flag. Not sitting amazing, but it's okay. I can hit a full nine iron at this. Not be worried about it going too long. So I'm just gonna go for a good full committed swing on this one. Like I promised you on the last green. Come on, draw a bit more. Okay, now I'm missing them right. 
All right, another up and down required, for flip's sake, but much better contact, much better strike, and I've got the distance there. So, happy with that. Okay, this is a must up and down, and then we need two birdies in the last three holes, with a par five on the last, so if I can birdie that, that's all the par fives birdied. Hopefully I don't need to make eagle on it. So yeah, must up and down, it's fairly simple, just landed halfway between the flag and the green fringe, and let it roll out a little bit left. I'm going to roll to the right, so I'm going to aim a little bit left. Well played. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! That would have been lovely. Jubbly. Okay, not as simple as one might seem. Not just as golf, full stop. So, I'm going to be putting the line on this one. Half a ball outside the right edge. And I'll commit to that. It's solid pace, it's gonna turn. There we go. Nice par, now we need two birdies on the last three holes. Par three next, let's go. Okay guys, again, another straightforward par three, not much danger, 185 yards. To the middle of the green pin is slightly in front of the middle, it looks, it's got the red flag. So we're gonna play 200 yard shot with the five iron, just a committed swing. Full committed swing, send it up there. The wind should stall it. Keep drawing. Keep coming. Be the right club. Yep, we're on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this one's gonna be fast. Long way out, well, two clubs too many. Just went so far. So yeah, let's see if we can roll this up. It's gonna go downhill. When it gets that little tear towards the hole, so it's not as hard as I think. Just try and feel the pace. Roll it up there. Sit, 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 sit. Okay, that's all right. We'll roll that in. Tidy this up for the par. And he does. Okay. Need to birdie the last two, guys. Flip. Let's do it. All right. 17th. Again, 425 yards. And wind's prefer to go in this way. Dog leg round to the left. Need a good drive here. Bit of a slip, cutting now though. Come on, back to the fairway. Back to the fairway. All right. As I said on the tee, way too close for comfort, but we're safe, except for the lie. It's not great, but we have 110 to that flag. I'm gonna hit a nice, comfortable 54 in there, just nice and smooth. So, ball first, fly it on there, give myself a birdie chance. Be good. Okay. Right. Birdie time. So good shot in there. Um, off that not so nice lie. This is a little bit left to right up the hill. Good pace. Even again, I'm gonna go two balls outside the left, let it come back in. Okay, let's do this. Needed. Yes, let's go, let's go, two under, going down the last, birdie needed to break 70 on the first attempt. <sighs> let's go, vamos. Okay, here we go, last hole, par five, 550 yards, need the birdie to break 70. Two big hits here, get it up close if not on the green and I'll be laughing. So let's do this straight down the middle. That's where this is going. Oh, drive of the day. Shame it's into the wind. 
Beautiful. All right. Come on. Nearly there. Almost there. Okay, we're a long way back here. It's going to require all of this three wood. And then some maybe. I think I can reach. I could I don't know idea how far I am. The 150 is up there. I'm assuming I'm 100 yards back. 250 into the wind roughly. To the front. So it's a big shot. Straight up there. Oh, absolutely ripped and drawn. I'll be good. Be enough. Over that. The birdie is on. The birdie is on. What a strike. A break at 70 in the first attempt, so let's do it. Okay, a little fluffy lie. Easy enough shot here. There is a bit of a slope to contend with. Right here, but I get it to here, and it's going to come in from the left. See if we can get the four under, chip this in. Come on, 68 would be nice. All right, ooh, grabbing the club there, so it's gonna be hands forward. Strike the ball first, no bounce required. Roll it in there. Sit. Oh no, don't be doing this to me. Four or five footer test. Oh man. Okay, let's do it. All right. This 78 footer for the 69 to achieve the target. Yeah, it's definitely straight. Just trust it. Trust it. Right. Not going to take too much time over it. It's no point giving it any more attention than the rest of the routines. I'm gonna get a feel for distance. Stare that hole out and drop it in. Come on. Yes! There we go! 69. We've broken 70 on the first attempt, ladies and gentlemen. Really hope you enjoyed that. Leave a little comment, let me know what you thought. It's warm out here. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of the future ones. We're going to do loads of break 70s. Hopefully they break 70 every time, but it's golf, so it's not likely. But yeah, glad thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and see you in the next one. Cheers.